If you've got leftover sweetened condensed milk from a no-churn ice cream, then I've got the perfect recipe. We're going to be making homemade Malteser chocolate fudge. It's incredible. It's super smooth awesomely chocolatey and packed with everybody's favorite chocolate malt balls. Yep, it's good and I promise it's really super simple to make. There's nothing better than that hit of chocolate naughtiness and those crunchy Maltesers. Guys, honestly, it is so, so good. And believe it or not, this recipe is so easy to make. I promise you, you can do it. Now, before you say, come on, Lou, what's the catch? Let me tell you, there's absolutely no caramel making. There is no boiling of sugar here. It is quick and simple, and there's only one pan to wash up. Sound good? Let's go. We're gonna start off by lining a baking pan with a couple of pieces of greaseproof parchment. Now, this recipe is best in an eight by eight inch baking pan rather than the one I'm using here, but it still works. Right. Next, grab yourself a large saucepan and your leftover condensed milk and literally just pour it in. I'm using about 300 mils here. Now you know me and how I love delicious and easy recipes, especially when they involve chocolate. And you can scale up this recipe really quite easily. Whatever you use of condensed milk, you're gonna want the same or roughly the same of chocolate. It will make the perfect fudge. So here I'm adding in 300 grams of chocolate and I'm actually using about 200 grams of milk chocolate and 100 grams of dark chocolate for an extra chocolate flavor. Now what we wanna do is completely mix this together over a gentle heat. Please, please, please follow these instructions. You want a low to gentle heat to warm the condensed milk and melt the chocolate. And it's really important to keep stirring. Keep that mixture moving to get a smooth and delicious texture. Too hot and the condensed milk will burn and the chocolate will seize and you'll end up with really grainy fudge. This looks excellent. Now what we want to do now is remove the fudge mixture from the heat and assemble everything together. I'm just adding in an extra teaspoon of vanilla extract and mixing it until it's well combined. You can add it if you want to, but it doesn't matter if you leave it out. At this point, what you wanna do is grab your lined baking pan and pour in half of the fudge mixture. And with the backside of a spoon or a spatula or my trusty angled palette knife, flatten it out just a little on the top. It's gonna to be thick and sticky, so don't force it, just give it a light, gentle spread. If you want to keep the fudge just plain, then skip this part and just pour in the rest of that chocolate mixture. But I can't help myself, you know me. I've got to stuff something in there and it's Maltesers. So I'm really going for it and I've got a whole bag here. I've taken a handful out there and I've chopped those up to go on the top of the fudge later. But the rest of them, I'm just going to sprinkle them generously over the top of the fudge mixture. Get the rest of your rich chocolatey fudgy mixture and smother the tops of those malt balls. Then really, really gently flatten that out again. And finally finish off with the rest of the Maltesers and those crush ones covering the top completely. Now once it's at this stage we're heading right over to the fridge and we're going to chill that fudge for a good two to four hours but although for me I find the best texture is when it's been chilled overnight. There's not much else to do other than slice this beauty up into pieces and oh man check out those Maltesers inside. How smooth is that chocolate fudge? You're gonna love how good this tastes. You're gonna be making this fudge over and over again. And I urge you, definitely try different fillings. Take it to the next level. Maltesers are my favorite, but Oreos come in a very close second. Oh man, you've gotta try Oreos in this. It is so good. <laughs> Be sure to share and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and why not check out some of my other videos, and I promise you, you'll love them. I'll see you over there. This is so good.